Welcome back. We have Chef Anthony Fisher joining us again this morning from Pittsburgh High School's Culinary Arts Program. And uh, we are once again cooking another Lenten approved recipe. We are. And it's going to be this week is our last week of all the Lenten dishes. Next week, we're going to start something completely new. Okay. So we're going to do basted sea scallops. I have about eight ounces worth of sea scallops here that I've thawed out. And I have butter. Serrano's crushed red pepper and garlic inside of our pan and the butter's all nice and melted and nice and hot. Okay. So we're going to take our sea scallops, make sure that you drain them after you thaw them because they do have quite a bit of liquid with them. And we're going to lay those right in. Don't be afraid to get your hands closed because if you get it down in there nice and close, you're not going to splash it and burn yourself. There you go. So we're going to give it just a minute to start cooking and you can hear that and smell all that beautiful good, all that beautiful goodness coming right off of them. Yeah, it smells amazing. <laughs> sea scallops are one that people are afraid to do because you can so easily overcook them. It only takes a few seconds to go from done to overcooked. So just try it. You gotta find someplace inexpensive. Simon Market has so these what, beautiful scallops. How, much, how do you know how much heat you want? Like a medium heat? I usually or? do medium to low, just depending upon what I'm doing with them. And I watch my flame, I can turn it up and down. Doing this on an electric stove is really difficult. So try and find a gas burner of some sort that will allow you to visibly control your flame. Because on a gas stove, you just really can't control it well enough. Okay. You wanna keep it a nice sizzle, but I'm just sitting here and I'm gonna keep tossing my butter right over. Cause everything that's in my butter now, if you remember when we did compound butter, you can use a compound butter for this. Oh yeah, with all the seasonings already in it. Exactly, and if you geared your compound butter towards fish, and you have your favorite herbs in there for your fish, you can lay it right inside of here and just go to town and add all those nice flavors right into it. Yummy. So we're gonna keep moving it around just a little bit. Look at all that goodness. Now sea scallops, pair with a lot of other, they do other most, fish items as well. Exactly, but the most common service with sea scallops is right on the side of a steak or right on top of a steak mm -hmm. is the most common way people do sea scallops. Um, I like to use them in pasta. Growing up, I used to think sea scallops were onions, <laughs> like little onions, but they're not. Well, they, <laughs> they're interesting and there's lots of different types. These come from the North Atlantic. So, and a lot of people, they go out and they talk about, oh, we have, different size scallops because they come like shrimp, 1816s, or excuse me, 1620s, which are 16 to 20 per pound. Okay. Um, but you really want to look, if you want a really beautiful sea scallop, you want to look for the U10 diver scallop. The U10 diver? That thing is about that big around and about that thick. Oh, wow. It's a giant little monster. And that thing, two of those on top of a steak is absolutely wonderful. So we're just basting away on our sea scallops right here. And all of our colors coming in, you can see how they're getting nice and golden all the way around. And just keep them kind of moving so that they don't overcook. I'm trying to keep so it with these, the heat. These particular sea scallops start off as fresh or frozen? These started out frozen because of being a, in the Midwest, it's just easier to get frozen. And like I, I've told you before, trust your, your fishmonger and you can get frozen all the time because they won't steer you wrong. So you can get fr uh, frozen lobster tails around here in really nice big sizes if you want a real surf and turf dinner. Yes, so I remember you had told us in the past that a lot of times the, um, the f when it comes to produce, the frozen items are some of the best because they pick the best ones to freeze and then... Exactly. Same thing happens with a lot of fish. That's what I was gonna ask, is that the same case with fish? Yep, well, the same thing happens with a lot of fish because commercial fishing... They ship a lot. They ship a lot, so a lot of it's harvested, processed, and immediately quick frozen right on the boat. So they get all that quality. Okay, so this from start to finish in under five minutes. So. Oh yes, this is a wonderful yeah. dish. And play with your heat a little bit, get used to it. Don't try to fast cook these unless you have like a Blackstone flat top grill where you can really sit there and watch them. But these being so small, I like to do these in a basted method. I get a better sea scallop and the flavors are way into it. I wanna try this, I can imagine how hot it's gonna be. <laughs> it's gonna be a little hot and a little spicy. Yeah, cause you like to put spicy I things. I do like it's my good. spice. It's good, I like spicy things too, yeah. 
Okay, so coming up on KOA Morning News on Fox 14, we're going to make something that pairs really nicely with this as well. Yes, we're going to make garlic shrimp gnocchi. So, and gnocchi is one of those things that's not really served around here very often, but it is super good. Melt in your mouth. Of course. A little buttery taste to mm -hmm. it, a little spice, a little, little goodness. Like you said, well, miniature versions of the giant little monster that melts in your mouth. That's right. Now, see, yesterday we were talking about these in class when we were working with this, and my students are working with vegetables. Mm -hmm. They actually did a nice little appetizer style jalapeno boat that was so spicy it just completely blew my mind it was Ooh. it was intense it was wonderful the taste the flavors were really there they stuffed it with eggplant oh and made it really spicy and they were the ones going chef don't forget to get your crushed red pepper when you take these we know how you like your spice don't forget the crushed red pepper they're taking care so of it that's they're for doing sure. really I good i think your kids really enjoy your class that's for sure Sounds i'm excited like for next year all right. Well, again, you can find uh, a little bit later this morning, you can go on our website, koamnewsnow.com, and find this recipe for basted sea scallops. And stick around on Fox 14. We're going to be making the garlic, garlic shrimp, shrimp gnocchi. And gnocchi. Exciting. We'll be right back.